Presentations are an individual part of our life. In schools, in colleges, at work, even at business meetings, we do presentation every day. But how to make a remarkable presentation which is going to make an impact to the audience? Don't worry, that's what you're going to discuss in this video. Hi there, my name is Slavan Lokesh. I'm a public speaker and trainer and I welcome you all to my public speaking course. It's an eight video long course where you're going to learn public speaking. And we are here today at the seventh part of this eight video long course. And the last part was about how to give a speech on the stage. Like how do you conquer the stage? So that was about the last part. So in case you want to watch that video, don't worry, you can watch after watching this video. And before starting, I would request you to have a notepad and pen handy because you can make note of every point we're discussing and watch the video twice so that you don't miss any points. So let's start this video with an delay. So this video is uh, divided into three parts. The first part is who? Who is the audience for this uh, presentation? And how do you find them and what are the things we have to do for that? The next thing is what? So next part in what we shall be seeing what are the attributes of a great uh, presentation and the last part is going to be how. So how do you make it uh, happen? So how do you make the presentation? How do you script all these things we'll be discussing? So the first part coming to the audience. So who is going to be your audience? We must know this prior before preparing a presentation because without knowing who we're going to address, we can't make sure that we make relatable content for them so that it's going to make much more impact. If you're addressing a group of school students, you must make sure that the level of English and the level of uh, your communication is going to be so basic. For example, this video, I make it for like school students, for college students, even for people who are working. So my audience vary from uh, even from 13 years to 35, 40, even a person who's uh, living for 100 years can watch this video. That's the stand of this video. So I want to make it in a much more basic way. I don't use complex English. I don't um, make sure that, I mean, I'm not making it very fast also. I'm making my pace so slow that people are able to understand it, right? So make sure who's your audience and prepare your content accordingly. The next thing is perp I mean uh, how do you bring in the purpose because purpose is something really important for example my purpose of making this video is that i want people to learn public speaking and become great public speakers because they don't I mean we don't have a lot of public speakers people are afraid of speaking in the stage and the other main i mean purpose i'm doing this to be frank is to develop the channel because i want people to know about our company, Plan Green Inertia PGI. So that's also a great purpose of me make, making these videos. Similarly, you will be having a lot of purpose behind your presentation, right? List it down and make sure that your purpose aligns with your audience and it is totally scripted and made as a presentation. So what is in a good presentation? What exactly? First thing, it must be really simple, super simple. Like we make this presentation whiteboard, right? It's super simple. I don't make uh, complicated things. I just write simple, unique, <laughs> I mean, research, audience, purpose, one, two, three. So I make it very simple so that even uh, after watching this video, you just take a screenshot of this and later on you just have a glimpse of this, you'll be able to know, understand it, right? That's what I'm trying to make it out of simple and have a unique theme, unique font. Make sure it's yours. See, my handwriting is not so good, but still I use my handwriting here. I don't use like, uh, I mean, I don't import digital images here. I just use my handwriting because I want to make it unique. I want uh, my ideas to be conveyed to you in a personal touch. So I make, I mean, I handwrite everything with my poor handwriting. So that's unique, right? At some point you like this, right? that's what I'm trying to bring out of this. So make yours unique and stand out. The last point is do a lot of research. Okay. You know your audience, you know your purpose and you're making it super simple and uh, super unique. Make a lot of research on your content and make it really authentic and reliable. That is the most important part of what a great presentation must have. Last but not the least, how I'm going to make this? You know what? You know who? Now how? You can use different methods of presentation. PPT is one of the greatest methods. You can do PowerPoint presentations, right? Then whiteboard. I use whiteboard. Like I don't uh, mean the idea between using PowerPoint and whiteboard is very simple. If it's going to be whiteboard, it is more of you taking out of your brain and uh, giving it to the audience. If it's going to be PowerPoint, you have done a lot of research, you want the materials to reach to the audience, so use PPT. And there's also this kind of presentations where, for example, 
I'm going to present this marker. So I don't have any whiteboard or even PPT. I can take this marker literally there and I can hold this and talk about this marker. It has like, it's a, a two sided marker where you have uh, two colors, the same marker, something like this. I do a presentation just with this prop. So you can take the prop or the product or service which you're doing, which you want to present. You can take it handy and showcase it as a prop. The next thing is that you have to do a script. There must be a proper scripting done for presentations also because just because you have PPT and whiteboard it does not mean you should not prepare you must prepare much more better because here you're gonna stand and you're gonna use the props and gonna explain it so you must be very much aware of what you're gonna speak so scripting is really a must last but not the least dry run like I personally do this a lot of time this video before taking this video before, even before having my uh, camera on I rehearsed it I just uh, mean like Quickly, I just rehearse, summarize it. For example, the three points, uh, audience, uh, then purpose. We have like three points here, something like that. So that's how I rehearsed before coming on to the uh, stage. I mean, before recording this video. So even you should do a rehearsal. That's called dry run, where you're gonna do with the exact props, with the exact lighting, everything, exactly before you go into the real presentation. So these are the three main parts of this, how to be a better presenter and uh, do a present presentation. I hope you understand this. The key aspect is confidence. Without confidence, you can't do a presentation. Even without this whiteboard, I can speak for hours together. But the point here is that, do I have the confidence to speak there? So we have to build in the confidence first. And confidence comes only through practice. And practice comes only through knowledge. That's why I'm sharing this knowledge with you. And make sure you take this knowledge and practice a lot and build in confidence. So thank you so much for watching this video. So that's the last part of the public speaking course will be launched very soon. It's about call to action. How to make your audience do what you want them to do is gonna be released very soon. So share this video with your friends and uh, give a thumbs up button so that this video is gonna be suggested to a lot of people and uh, subscribe to the channel for more awesome courses like public speaking. Yeah, this is public speaking and we're gonna do about e-commerce, digital marketing and entrepreneurship. There are a lot of courses upcoming, so stay tuned to your channel. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, this is Lavan Logi signing off. I mean, like, <laughs> I don't want to go today, but still, I have to go. Bye.